Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sabrina. I am a shamanic witch, and I'm here to give you a story today for uh, another episode in the series of cattails. I started this cattail series uh, in 2018 when I had my mobile home, and I, st I told a fairly long story about the familiar I had before Bass, who was Tabby. Uh, he was the same kind of cat as Diamond and Jade. I had no idea that he was a messenger of Bast. Bast, of course, came into my life after that. And then um, they were kind of friendly for a little while, and he tried to teach her to hunt. He was a wonderful hunter, and he taught me a great many things. So I think I really only have two sort of story episodes in the series, Cat Tales. Um, I think the other one is the premonition about how I was going to get a new familiar diamond, and Spirit had given me that name. And then after she had her kittens, I think that little story is on there also about, you know, how, what I had found out about her. Now, when it comes to magical cats, which is what this is really about, um, and I guess I need to make that clear, that when you have a familiar, they're more than just a pet. They're called magical cats or magical familiars because they assist us in our magical workings and that's what this story is going to be about and it will be about Tabby. Now when he had come to us I was just beginning to reopen up my creative mind you know and I really just couldn't think of a name for him so <laughs> when the children asked me what kind of a cat is he I said he's a Tabby they said oh okay well you know we could call him Tabby so that's what we did we called him Tabby. I thought that's the most uncreative thing I've ever come up with. But um, so now I've talked a lot and made video clips about the things that Jade does. Every magical familiar is unique. And Jade is incredibly uh, grateful and she just wants to help. You know how children can just want to help. Uh, by the way, happy Friday 13th and uh, honoring Astarte. I had a good day. I hope you did too. It was kind of uh, full of some technological glitches, but that's been going on all week with me. So, um, yeah, you know, with her checking the dishes and cleaning the clothes in the washing machine and uh, taking makeup off of my makeup table and putting it down on the floor so she has her own collection. <laughs> um, so many things. I would love to write a little children's book called The Amazing Jade. I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. I'm sure I'll need someone to help me. But in this particular instance, I had been going, been going through a lot of trouble once again with bad neighbors. And uh, the videos that I have on that subject have the highest views of, you know, all, just about any other videos other than uh, Life's Up and Downs, Taking Advantage of Change, and I think the other one was on Belial. Oh, by the way, look at my new earrings. Yes, I've got a colorful outfit on, uh, which I would like to show you. What's, up? What's all the colorful makeup for? Uh, I'm feeling very colorful for summer. <laughs> so, it was just a source of frustration like Chinese torture for days and weeks and months. And with this man blasting his car stereo anytime he went out or came up the street slowly or came home for lunch and needed to go to the shed and left it blasting. It's a noise disturbance. 
but how do you catch it unless you can film it? We couldn't afford to buy a VCR or set it up, you know, and make it not visible, you know, and keep it running for just the right opportune moment. The little magical things that I had done, like throw <clears throat> fruit, you know, that I put some herbs, charged some herbs and put them through it into his yard. You know, I did a couple of things like that that were absolutely not worth doing at all. Um, I finally made a poppet. But before that, with all these things I was trying, I had read somewhere that if you can put a dead animal where someone is going to walk or park their car, that energy will affect that equipment or that person. Um, and I know that, that this is one reason why my, my then husband was so adamant about cleaning the cat box like immediately if it was at all possible. He didn't do it. He expected me to do it. He didn't want cats. He tolerated them so um, and then Tabby would sit by the cat box like I'm waiting he was very clean I watch him bathe himself from head to toe for 30 minutes so I did you know my best to keep it clean several times a day and this was when um, I believe at that time we still just had Tabby I don't know if Bast had come into our life yet or not. Um, I think she had. No, she hadn't. Okay, so, <coughs> so I'd read somewhere, and my husband said, you know, you've got to, don't leave the bag of feces, right, in bags, in another bag, by the front door or anywhere for any 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 moments before you decide you know you'll just throw it in the garbage on the way out he said no that energy of that feces could linger and now he had studied under a shaman in Peru and uh, so I said okay that makes sense to me right bacteria um, it will definitely attract negative spirits and eventually if you're you know if you've ever known anyone that's living in circumstances that are not very clean they're probably depressed and they're getting more affected and probably getting more sick so that you know that's what I did but I realized you know I read the story of the animal putting a dead animal somewhere and I thought okay you know if I can tell Tabby to kill a bird right because uh, he would do that. He was a hunter. And bring the bird to me and somehow I'll try to not be visible and put it in their driveway where he parks his car. Now this was someone, you have to understand, this was someone that was just completely obnoxious all the time. I called the police several times and they finally did give him a citation. But... Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't get up the courage to do it and not be seen by anyone. You never know who's looking out their window at any time of day. You just never know, right? And if you can't do it at night under the cloak of darkness, you know, what was I going to do? Tammy was tuned in to me. We had forged this connection and he knew I was under stress. I think he knew what I was thinking and... He killed a bird. I looked one day out the window and there was a dead black bird in that driveway where he parks his car. And I just, I really felt that it had to be Tabby because my emotions were so strong and he was connected to me. And this was just going on for days and days and days and me wanting to figure out how to do that, right? Now it did affect his car. He got into a minor accident, a fender bender, you know, on the front left part of his precious car. But he just called the insurance company, filled out a claim, and, you know, they fixed it. And uh, I think he had a rental car or they just drove the other car or something, you know, until that got fixed. So 
So obviously it didn't solve the problem until I, until I finally sat down and wrote a letter to the owners and then made a poppet. But that is the story I want to tell about my beloved Tabby. So if you want to go to my playlist, Cattails, and see uh, and listen to the story that I told when I was in my mobile home about Tabby, how he came to me, and how we forged our connection, and how he would actually join me in ceremony, please go watch that video uh, because he also taught me a final lesson at the end of his life. So, yeah, that's one of the magical things that he did for me. Um, now, when it comes to magic, Diamond and Jade seem to be interested, you know, in my crystal. Um, my crystal was on the sofa today, and Diamond came over to it and looked at it and sat next to it. And Jade comes over here, and she looks at the setup here, and... They have several times jumped up on my altars. For what reason, I don't know, but they are my familiars. And so when Bass came into my life, I had two familiars. For a short time, uh, Tabby was going to be passing within the next year to year, year and a half. Um, so I, you know, I can only imagine that when you are led to have two familiars, it's because you need it for one reason or another, right? Like I've seen my son, he has three guardian angels, one tall, one medium, one short. That's for another story. But yeah, the more, I'd say the more familiars that you have, magical uh, or guardian angels, you know, guardian spirits, the more you need um, either practice connecting to the spirit. I really, I really do believe that having felines aids your clairvoyance. That is my strong feeling. Now they've seen spirits that I haven't seen and they've, you know, communicated that to my friend when I could understand why she was behaving so oddly. Well, you know, there's a lady here and I said, okay, who is it? So we determined eventually that it was my grandmother. So, you know, this is what Diamond has brought me and then Jade has brought me um, just an incredible sense of joy, I'd have to say, um, as well as her amazing ability to tune into me and follow me everywhere and check the dishes and, you know, clean and jump up on the bed when I'm making it and cleaning the, she's the helper. And, and there is a couple of other things she's done that are magical, but they're so incredible. And there's, it's so hard to believe that I'm not sure I'm going to share it here on YouTube. It's not, you know, a magical forum, but, um, yeah, she, she plays with me like no other cat has, and she still does, and I'm going to leave that clip here, so it's almost, uh, midnight, I think, I don't know, <laughs> I think I want to make another video, because, you know, I spend a lot of time doing my makeup and everything, so, I mean, if you're interested, I have on the Jeffree Star eyeshadows from the Purple Palette, and, um, one of the eyeshadows for a blush. <coughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm going to try to think of any any other stories where Tabby has assisted me in magic um, or the story possibly about Diamond specifically and the day that she um, let us know that my grandmother was around. So if you've had these experiences also, if you have a feline familiar, a magical cat, um, please say something below, say yes, or share it a little bit, um, or share and like this video, please. 
I do start to have I have more people that are watching, I think, and subscribing that are, you know, involved with other channels uh, in the magical community. And so, hello to them. Um, some of us, we um, join in on J.S. Garrett and Barbie on Friday nights. They didn't have a live tonight, so I didn't join in, but yeah, and if you go there, then you should always see me say something on there, and uh, they're accustomed to seeing me. So, um, yeah, let's all work together to support one another in uh, mag what you know what we've experienced in the magical community, because uh, those outside of it just don't don't understand. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching, and. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. See you on the next video.